Beneath that cheerful and outgoing and friendly exterior, Tucker is a cauldron of anger and resentment, says a former Fox News colleague. It's almost like he's trying to ag- aggregate, aggravate everybody. They aggregate everyone. Tucker's trying to aggravate everyone. Former colleague thinks Carlson is probably as talented as anybody in our business. I should have guessed that doing stuff like elevating this crazy story and saying other quasi outrageous things helps Tucker Carlson have an impact, right? So this Daryl Cooper interview accomplished something that Carlson has done only one other time since being fired from Fox News last year. Tucker has the entire political media ecosystem paying attention to him. Last time that Tucker set the world aflame was in February when he flew to Russia to conduct a softball interview with Vladimir Putin. So Tucker does not need to boost a Nazi revisionist historian or to show for Putin for the money. Right? He was making $20 million a year at Fox News. Maybe he's just out for the money and the attention. So he wrote in the introduction to his 2021 book, The Long Slide, every best-selling political author is reviled by large numbers of people. One side hates you, one side buys your books. There isn't a marketing director in the country who doesn't know that. So perhaps what's good marketing advice for booksellers is also good marketing advice for podcasters.